Hey there, I'm Garrett from the Software Training Lab, and today we're going to go over speed and the rate stretch tool in Adobe Premiere Pro. Say you have a clip that's just too slow. You like the content, but it just takes a little too long to get to the portion that you need. For example, this pan here in the car is a little too slow for my liking. Premiere lets us adjust the speed of the clip in order to make it fit. First, let me add in and out points to make sure I get the content that I want. Now, I'll drag in just the video because I don't need to hear the cameraman breathing. Now, with my clip in my timeline, I can right click on it and find speed slash duration. Here in this menu, we can change the speed of the clip manually or choose a duration and let the speed adjust accordingly. For example, I can type in 200% for the clip to run twice as fast. I can also type in 1 colon 0, 0 which means one second long. You can see that that makes it go 766% faster. Let's set this back to 200. These checkboxes here can change the way that speed affects the clip. Reverse speed will flip the clip to play backwards. Check maintain audio pitch if you don't want your clip to end up sounding like chipmunks. And finally, ripple edit will shift all the other clips in the timeline to match the new length if necessary. Great, we just made my clip about twice as fast. As wonderful as that is, it sometimes isn't as intuitive as maybe we'd like it to be. I'm gonna undo. For this reason, Premiere has the rate stretch tool which can be found here in the toolbar or by pressing R. This tool makes it very easy and intuitive to change the speed of a clip. Just drag the end of a clip to adjust its speed. You'll notice that if I make this clip about half as long, it should play at about twice the speed. And that it does. I can also make my clip longer than the original to play slower, now at about 50%. Although that is a little too painstaking for my taste. Use the Rate Stretch tool to easily adjust the playback speed of your clips. In our next video, we're going to cover how to adjust position, scale, and rotation of clips in your project.